How's it going guys? I just picked up a used RC off Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to use this opportunity to show you common mistakes that people make when they're building their kits. But yeah, just real quick, I'll show you guys the kit and some of the things I see that are kind of, you know, not so good on it. And uh, we'll go from there and I'm just going to tear this thing apart and redo it and uh, actually get on the road. Because I've always wanted a drift RC and now I got one. So I'm kind of pumped about it. But check it out. All right. So this is the car itself. Um, you know, he was aware that, you know, the alignment and everything was kind of jacked up. But, you know, that's... You know, that guy's like way, you know, you can kind of see. It's, that doesn't really bother me that bad. But since we're talking about that, um, you, I don't know if my camera's going to focus on this because it's so small. But you can see um, the turnbuckles, it's threaded all the way in on this side. And it's like a big gap on this side. So you want your turnbuckle to be right in the center of, you know, of your adjustment so you actually have full adjustment when you're actually adjusting stuff <laughs> but the way i always do that is if you run it tight on this side and you run it tight on that side and then adjust it out you'll get really close to it being dead center and you kind of see it's up like right here and for the uh toe and everything these are just maxed in which is kind of what i was talking about so you just go max in and then you just out that way you don't have to try to line it up. All right, and another one is the wire. See how the wire is just kind of like all hanging out and stuff like this. That's really bad. I mean, it's almost guaranteed like if you were to run off the road, something could jump up and snatch that and pull your off switch off. <laughs> and another thing like, see right here, like with this, you know, that could fall over. You wouldn't think it would, but you know, it's a good chance. And even worse, it's sitting right on the freaking, on the spur gear and everything. So that, that would definitely, if you were, you know, sliding around, probably get over in that and you could have a really bad day and mess your battery up. And now that I mentioned that, let me unplug this real quick. Look down here. Can you see it? <laughs> so where he's got his battery mounted. Look at that, it has already took a chunk out of the battery casing. That can make you have a really bad day, guys. So, see that right there? That's pretty bad. Let's see if we can find something else. But for the most part, like I said, it was, you know, it's done pretty good. I can't really, can't really complain about it. Um, it doesn't seem to be too bad. But we are going to dive more into this thing and kind of see if we can find anything else. But at the moment, just glancing over it, that's the only stuff I see. Yeah, that's pretty much my first look at it. Just really quick, that's kind of the stuff I've seen. Um, yeah, you, you want to be careful when it comes to stuff like that. Because, like, these electric cars are getting pretty powerful and stuff like that. And you short something out. I mean, there's just videos all over YouTube of people just burning and melting their cars to the ground. And, you know... You definitely don't want that. You put a lot of money, a lot of time into these kits, and if that happens, I imagine it's probably not a very good feeling. So take your time. Make sure your wires are up and out of the way, harm's way. That's very important. Take a little time. Build your turnbuckles, you know, correctly, and you know, get your car adjusted and everything. Which he says he hasn't ran this car really, so um, I don't think it. He really ran it at all. But um, at least not on the pavement anyway. It's too clean for that. I mean, it's not a scratch on the bottom of this thing. So, but definitely enough to take a chunk out of that battery. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, it didn't mess the uh, the gear up. So that's great for me. Um, I don't have to buy anything. Uh, yeah. Just just little things like that, guys. Just take your time. Make sure everything's you know tucked out of the way. You know, you don't want your wires getting in the way to where they could actually get into the gear and stuff like that and get chewed up and short your car out. Are get snatched 
and get jerked out and mess up your your motor or anything like that so but yeah that's pretty much it just a real quick look at this car before i get into it i forgot to tell y'all like the coolest thing about it this is the body it come with y'all know I was a white rx7 how could i say no like it's a no-brainer <laughs> but yeah that's just a quick look at the car um i'll probably do another little video of just me tearing this thing apart um which I might even tear it apart because I think that's a little overkill for what I'm going to do with this thing. So I'll probably just, you know, get this thing in line and get the camber and caster and all that stuff, make sure it's correct, and go through the shocks. So I hear air pretty bad in, in some of these. So. But yeah. Yeah. So the next video, I'll probably just go through and get this thing set up and then we'll actually run it. But I just wanted to show you all these little quick little things that I noticed with this thing when I first bought it. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, another one, like I said, if you cut it on, it's like almost like hard right. So, you know, yeah, we'll go through and get everything, um, dialed in and try this guy out. But all right, guys, I just want to show, share this with y'all real quick. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next one.